A retired LAPD detective says he has solved the murder of rapper Tupac Shakur, who was gunned down in Las Vegas nearly 20 years ago. Detective Greg Kading says he has proof it was Sean Diddy Combs who orchestrated the murder. His book on the investigation has now been turned into a documentary. That was Tupac. That was Tupac. No, he got shot. No, he got shot. Who besides yourself down there knows, uh, for one, knows about these guys killing Tupac? Pretty sure everybody around there knows about it. In a tape confession never before shown on film. Which of those four is it when you talk to him about murdering Tupac? Like, man, I'll shit out. We'll wipe the ass out quick. You know, it's nothing. Yeah, we, we, we want a million. Greg Kading joins us now from Los Angeles. Greg, it's good to see you. I want to mention that you wrote a book about this in 2011. Um, called Murder Rap, and that's what's the basis now of this documentary. Let's start from the beginning. You say that uh, Sean, back then known as Puff Daddy Combs, shelled out a million dollars to gun down Tupac Shakur. Why? Well, that was the agreement that was made between uh, Mr. Combs and a gang member here in Los Angeles who was doing some security work. Him and his gang crew were doing security work for Bad Boy. And uh, there was an ongoing conflict going on between Combs and Suge Knight and the two record labels, the infamous East Coast, West Coast rap wars. And the conflict just continued to exacerbate. People were getting shot. There were armed confrontations. And then it culminated in a situation where Sean Combs knew that uh, he was being hunted down by Suge Knight out here in Los Angeles. So he, he solicits the help of these uh, Southside Crip gang members, in particular a guy named Keefe D who confessed to this whole thing. Um, in order to get rid of uh, Suge Knight and Tupac Shakur uh, to kind of uh, protect himself. It was a preemptive, preemptive strike, so to speak. Greg, did he uh, confess to that while you were actively on the force investigating the murder? That's correct. The confession uh, was uh, obtained back in 2008 and 2009 while I was leading a federal task force. This was a uh, major task force effort in, in, uh, involving uh, many different agencies. Well, did P. Diddy's name come up back when, um, wh when Kathy D. confessed? Uh, it did. Well, key, uh, Sean Combs' name came up from the very beginning of these investigations back in 1996 and 1997. Uh, but most of the information we were getting from secondhand witnesses, hearsay information, we weren't able to corroborate that story until we got the confession of Keefe D uh, in 2009. He was one of the occupants of the vehicle in Las Vegas that pulled alongside and shot Tupac. So why is um, Diddy still out? I mean, why hasn't there been an arrest? Unfortunately, it's an unprosecutable case for a variety of reasons. The confession was secured by way of what's known as a proffer agreement, an agreement between Keefe D's attorney and the United States Attorney's Office in order for him to provide this uh, information um, without self-incriminating himself. And so he's out of the equation. Everybody else that was involved in this conspiracy, there was a total of six people involved, and four of those people are dead. So now we're left with uh, Keefe D, who's providing the story in the confession, and of course, Sean Diddy, Com uh, Diddy Combs. And Combs has denied this over the years, but he was very specific following the publication of your book. He said it was pure fiction and completely ridiculous. You go on to say not only um, did Tupac fall to this East Coast, West Coast rivalry, but Biggie Small's death was actually punishment for Sean Puffy Combs' involvement in taking down Shakur. That's correct. The retaliation uh, here in Los Angeles six months after Tupac Shakur was killed um, was a solicitation by Suge Knight to have uh, a member of Bad Boy uh, murdered, which would be uh, Sean, I'm sorry, uh, Christopher Wallace, Biggie Smalls. So his murder was a retaliation for what had happened in Las Vegas six months earlier. Hey, have you, uh, Greg, ever felt like your life was in danger for continuing to investigate this, for continuing to write about it and to talk about it publicly? Not at all. I'm very, very confident in the evidence that we obtained, uh, very confident in uh, our investigation. Uh, I don't fear the consequences of telling the truth. So uh, it is what it is, and uh, people will respond accordingly. All right. Greg Kading, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much.